With the email trigger in workflows, you can trigger a workflow when an email is received by a specific address. If you have any processes that involve receiving documents or information by email, like invoices, resumes, or meeting summaries, starting a workflow with an email trigger will take these emails and then process them automatically. When you use an email as the trigger for a workflow, you can also leverage specific pieces of that data that come from the email. For example, the from field, the body of the email, the subject of the email, headers, or even attachments from that email. When building out the steps in your workflow, you'll likely want to incorporate some of this data into the steps that you build. If you plan on using these fields, make sure you have a clear place in your data where you can store this information. To set up an email workflow, create a new workflow in the workflow editor and select email as the trigger. In this panel on the right, a unique email address will be generated. This is the email that will trigger the workflow. Whenever an email is received at this address, the workflow will begin. Next, you can build out the workflow the same way that you would with other types of triggers. Each of these pieces we add here is called a step. Steps can be actions in Glide, conditional branches, or loops, and you can even nest loops and conditions within each other. Finally, you should send a test email to the workflow trigger to see if it behaves as expected. If it doesn't, you can review the errors in the workflow editor or view the step and workflow logs in your data editor to figure out what went wrong. Let's take a look at an example of an email triggered workflow. As a company, we receive invoices via email all the time. These invoices are typically PDF documents attached to an email. Now, manually processing this data and getting it into our system takes a lot of time, but we can automate this entire process with a workflow. First, we'll create a new workflow and copy this email address. Now, there are two ways that we can use this email address. We could just change where all of our invoices are sent so they all go to this address, or we can just forward emails to this address when they come through in our email. Either way, when the invoice arrives at this particular email address, the workflow will be triggered. To store the attachment in our data, we have to create a multiple files column in our data table. Then we can use an add row action in the workflow to store any attachments in our data automatically. Now we have a lot of options about what to do with this invoice once it's received. Since it's a PDF, our first step is to extract the information out of this document. Now that's simple enough, but what we then have is a bunch of unformatted text, which by itself isn't that useful. This is where AI is very helpful because it can transform all of this unstructured text into neat structured data. To do this, we're gonna use a series of text to JSON steps. Each one will correspond to an important piece of information we need from the invoice. For example, this first step will look for just the date on the invoice. The AI will find that information, isolate it, and then format it as a key value pair so we can use it whenever we like in our app. We'll make another step like this for each important piece of the invoice. What the charge was for the sender, the total amount, and the date the payment is due. Now you can add as many of these types of steps as you need for your particular processes. In our data table, we'll make sure to create a column to store each of these pieces of extracted data. As a last step, you can set up a notification for yourself to let you know that the invoice was processed. This could be an email, text, or even a post in a Slack channel. And this is the end of the workflow for now. To test it, we can send an email to the trigger address with the invoice attached. Any errors will appear in red in the run history and we'll also get an email with more details about what went wrong. If any of these steps didn't extract the text the way that we wanted, we can adjust the prompt in that specific step to refine our output. The email trigger is just one of the ways to start a workflow in Glide. To learn more, join us at glideapps.com learn.